Hello, everybody, and welcome to Saints Gaming Rock League. My name is The Prive, joined alongside Mr. Danners. We're going to bring to you today some CCA Summer Series East Conference playoffs action between St. Clair Saints Gold and Oakland University. How are you feeling about this one, Dan? Definitely feeling excited here. Oakland was one of those few teams that kind of surprised us a little bit in the regular season. When we did have the opportunity to play them in the regular season, they were down and out. They were like one and four. They were having themselves a really hard time. And I'm looking at this matchup, getting ready to broadcast, and it's like, oh, this is probably just going to be a 3 0 sweep and whatnot. Then all of a sudden, Oakland was playing like a team that should have been in the top five or in the top four. Yep. Bringing us to the that game five situation where the Saints were able to eventually clean it up. But it was way harder than expected. And Oakland, they're flying high right now after an amazing game five performance versus Florida Poly, who was also having a fantastic run for their own right. But they're warmed up. They're good to go. Yeah, and Oakland, like you were going on about there, basically the whole summarize, summary of that is that, you know, they're on a huge momentum boost right now. They are on fire, and that's what's going to keep them on track here and going to make it tough for your St. Clair Saints here. But um, both teams, like we were talking in the pregame a little bit, we're very much anticipating this one to go to maybe a game four, game five action here uh, and not be a quick little easy game by any means. So very excited to jump into this one. And I think, yeah, as you were saying, these players are just about to get started here momentarily. And uh, we're very excited to get going with that one. However, if we want to pull up the bracket here really quick, well, we got some time mm -hmm. give you guys a quick little rundown before we get into things. And get uh, that for we'll be... just a second yeah. here. There we go. So, yeah, we can kind of see the run here. We were just talking about Florida Poly. That was a wild card team from the East Division. And they went absolutely nuts only to finally get shut down here. It's not updated here on my bracket. Catch me off guard a little bit. But then Oakland finally shuts it down game five. And here we are. Our seed in the regular season definitely doing us plenty of wonders. Saints getting to play their first game in the quarterfinals. That's amazing. Yeah, that, that's a big one. As you were saying there, you know, the, the seeding is so huge there throughout that regular season that put us now into the automatic quarterfinals position there. And uh, going against Oakland here, it's going to be a very, very good one. If we come in on top, CCA will be picking up the broadcast. So a, a win for the Saints here would uh, cause the end of the broadcast. If we lose here, we are going to go on and try to do a little bit of a loser's bracket run as well. I know it's not on the bracket here, but there is that loser's as well that you can see down there that we will make our way down to if we do not come out on top here against this Oakland squad. However, um, yeah, lots of things going on here. And uh, Florida Poly, as you were saying, too, really put Oakland uh, into a good run. So Oakland has been kind of grinding to get to where they are right now. And Florida Poly was one of those wildcard teams that came out really strong. And I think they're going to make an impressive run in the losers as well. Absolutely. Definitely going to be keeping an eye on them. Where do they happen to drop down to? Trying to see if it'll show us or not. But uh, I yeah, I, oh, yeah I, right. we, it's we, not, we it's not like updated right now because of, uh, yeah, but yeah, definitely going to be a team to try and keep an eye on. And tell you what, Oakland having themselves that very last minute burst here in the season to get themselves up there. Like they own their first game here tonight here in a winner's round five. Yeah. Meanwhile, you see other teams that you would expect to be uh, like a little bit further teams like the GT Swarm, for example, like they started off easily in the top five of the CCA and then they had a, a rather rough plummet. Honestly, the same thing with Northwood white all the way until the very final week. Like they were in second place Then all of a sudden we take them out and they just absolutely hard drop right to sixth position, like wrecking that seed for themselves. Granted their first game still here in round five, which is still okay, but this goes to show I mean how crazy that seed was. Uh, exactly there and we've seen it throughout this whole season where teams can start off very very hot and build up a huge record of wins and wins and go at it and then eventually um you know teams can get on VOD review and whatnot and catch on to what these teams are actually doing here and uh, it makes it a lot harder for them and it, it causes them to lose some more games going down the road where there's also teams that change up their play style really put in that extra practice as playoffs are right around the corner and they end up like this for example oakland Absolutely. You hear the bells running. It's time to get underway. CCA match 
up against Oakland University and see what they can do. We see Oakland coming on swinging, but sending it to the Saints zone, but instantly getting cleared out. Your Saints will be the team in orange here tonight. Oakland are going to be in blue. And uh, it, like you were saying, I mean, just instant back and forth play here so far, but that's going to be JQ starting things off for Oakland University just 18 seconds into this one. And he comes out with a one to nothing lead here. Now, that's a very big early goal for the side of Oakland. Just a little bit of a J and Pomp. I think they ran into each other there well, trying to get a save. So just won't work out in their favor. But here we go. Carrying on, Oakland starting off strong. That's a little concerning for the Saints. Jay trying to find an early answer back. Absolutely rough scenario here for the Saints because that's exactly what you didn't want to see happen. As, of course, Oakland already riding high with momentum. You kind of had to shut that down quickly to try and bring this back to a bit of an even playing field. But Oakland getting a goal so quickly into this one is just going to let them like continue to feel that high and just fire on all cylinders. Granted, they're kind of stuck in their own zone right now. It was comp shot on target, but Raz with a solid save to keep this out of that uh, one goal game in their favor. Yeah, and that was a very nice shot there from Comp. It had a lot of speed on it, and uh, it was also a very good save there from Oakland as well. So, a nice stuff overall. There we are about a minute through in this game here now. And if you're the side of Oakland, you know you're, you're still feeling high on this lead. You're feeling good about it. And uh, the Saints, though, are going to keep putting the pressure on you. See Comp keeping it in the zone. Jay following it up, trying to get a rebound off that wall. And uh, trying to center this one up for the rest of the guys. But as of for now, uh, it's going to be Oakland playing the defense fairly well. We bring it right back into the Oakland side for just a moment. We see Raz back there getting ready to set things up. Sends it right into the midfield, trying to chase it. It's got a bit of a drag race with Spoots, however. Spoots gets it to comp, redirect on target. Going to hit the crossbar, though, after a slightest of save from the Oakland defender. Beautifully done in that regard. We have Wismount coming on through as well. Comp going to deny that cross pass. And now we've got a bit of a drag race once again. Raz making his second save in under a minute. So far, so good for the Oakland defense. Yeah, Oakland defense been playing very well throughout this one already, especially with the amount of shots on target the Saints are getting. Uh, that, that crossbar shot just so close there for the Saints with that redirect. Uh, for very, uh, you know, probably upsetting there to not have that one go through and tie this one up as we're approaching the halfway marker in this game. And it actually is Oakland putting the offensive pressure back on here now. But the Saints immediately clearing and then sending it back into Oakland zone. They just need to find a good holy shot like that on the comp. That's all it needs. It just takes one little touch. And we've seen this time and time again between Spoods and Comp and Jay. All of them manage to find themselves right in the right position where you don't need a fancy shot. You don't need a hard shot. Just redirect it. And beautifully done there to tie this up right before the halfway point. 1-1 one, one game. And we're going to see if Oakland can fight back or is this finally going to be the momentum killer. But a shot like that could bring this right back around. Raz was solid defensively, but he found himself an offensive opportunity right off the faceoff. And he took it. Beautifully done to bring Oakland right back into the lead. Yeah, and I mean, at this point in time, it seems like Oakland is just not a fan of tie games. As uh, as soon as it's a tie game, uh, they answer back so quickly there. And once again, giving themselves that one goal lead. It is going to be the St. Clair Saints here now, though, trying to answer back as best as they can, just like they did previously. But as you were saying, it's just going to take themselves to put themselves in a good position and get a good redirect to really open up that net for them. Uh, oh now my that is a nice goodness. shot from, oh my God, Jay Wismont going to find that one from a very, very awkward angle. That was Jay Cubed. He did the demo initially onto one of the Saints, and then he just did it again right as the shot was coming through, denying the defender nobody home for the Saints. Oakland, where have you been all season? You guys are absolutely nuts, and we are loving this here. I mean, of course, this is the Saints' hometown channel, but I'm a little biased because I just want to see a damn well good game. And so far, Oakland really putting the pressure on the Saints. Yeah, 100%, and it's not even like Oakland has had a crazy amount of uh, time and possession in their favor. It's fairly even in time and possession, I would say right now. It's just Oakland is finding oh. some very good shots. Jay Barr down! Gonna find that one on a very nice and aggressive opening. You will see that Spoods right off the wall, and that is a wide open net. And that is gonna be Jay going Barr down right there and making sure it goes in. That's a one goal game here once again with two minutes remaining. I was so worried that that thing wasn't going to cross the line, but it looks like it's going to work in our favor this time by here. As a faceoff going right into the Saints zone, J-Cube shot is going to go wide, however. Teed it up a little bit, just could not quite find the angle. Where's the defense on the side of Oakland? Bar down once again, and this time it's not going to go into the net. Spood, solid shot, but not quite going to get that final little piece that he needed to get that goal. And it's going to be Oakland bringing it right back into the Saints zone. Wismot is just straight up 
brute forcing it into the crease and was doing the solid job yeah. in that regard. Nearly going to make that happen, but now we have ourselves a little bit of stalemate in the Oakland zone. Comp trying to set up Spoods here. If he can get one good bounce, that might be the bounce he was looking for. Nope, never mind. Not going to commit to it. Oakland on the attack. Yeah, Jay Wismont with a nice little shot there, and Raw is looking to follow it up and play for the center. The Saints are hoping to do something about it, and Comp will be the man to do that one. Sending it up towards midfield for a 50-50, but Jay Wismont going to come away with that one. Jay sending this one back over towards the Oakland net. But it will not go. Ross there for an aerial stop. Comp looking to play it for the center here now. And uh, Saints might find a goal here momentarily. That's a drop down off the top of the net. And it just will not work out in their favor. But Comp going to bump it in just in the bottom corner. Dying this game up with under a minute remaining. And that is a huge play for the Saints to come back from a 3-1 to one deficit. Perfect little bounce shot there. Again, Spoots just all over the place in regards to assists here in this game. May not be necessarily the goal scorer, but he is absolutely setting Saints up one after another here. And another just knockdown bounce shot. Bring this to a 3-3 game. But of course, once Oakland was in this position in a tie game, they instantly just tried to answer back and were successful. However, Saints trying to answer the Raz again, the defensive powerhouse here on this Oakland University squad, keeping things under control and bringing Oakland into an offensive opportunity as we're going into the crease, forcing Jay up into the skies. Yeah, and now this one is going to be back in the side of Oakland. Roz, though, as you've been saying, he is one of those big defenders right now for Oakland. He does it once again, sending it right back to the Saints zone. He might have got demoed, but he still did his Ooh. job. But that is right off the post for Pop. Just not going to go. Spoods with a demo. Then Spoods will get demoed. What a trail of events here now. The stop, but that's going to get bumped in from Jay Wismot. 12 seconds remaining. Oakland University going to take a one goal lead putting the pressure on the Saints very late in this game. The fact that first initial shot didn't go in was surprising after that redirect. Saints got barely enough of it to put that aside, but then of course Wismont right there to finish the job anyway, finding that additional rebound. And now Saints need a last minute buzzer beater and they're getting feisty. Ross and Comp gonna blow both each other up here and Wismont finds himself the breakaway on a beautiful individual effort to get himself the hat trick here in game number one. And Oakland are going to be taking game one in this best of five series. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about Jay Wismont. He was just using brute force to get it into the crease so many times, and it was working out in his favor, just flying right behind that ball, dribbling it in, and, uh, you know, just taking advantage of those open nets, and he does so, gets himself a hat-trick, and will find Oakland University game number one. So, now this game number two, very, very important for the Saints to not be put in a position where they have to reverse sweep. Absolutely, and this is just feeling like the momentum high is still just right there on Oakland's side, where even if something goes wrong, they can answer right back right away. It's the best feeling in the world as a competitor, I swear. And right now, we'll get to see if Oakland's able to just keep on the pressure, or if Saints could finally shut this down. And like you are saying, game number two here, extremely important. Saints need to quell this extremely quickly, otherwise this series might run out of way out of their control. Yeah, for sure. Jay going for an early shot there off the faceoff, but it's not going to work out in his favor. Comp now going to send that right back to Oakland zone, and Spood's going to play off it. Sends it over to Comp in the corner. Spood's might be open in front of the net here. This is a little bit of a center, just a little too high. And there it is again, a center, but there's no St. Clair players there to play off of it. Uh, it's going to be Comp coming in on the aggression there on the net, and there's the rebound. Spood's going to score for the Saints, and that'll be the first time in the series that the Saints actually have a lead just 25 seconds into this game too. That's exactly the start they need here, as we were saying, how important this game too really is. Yeah, Spood's taking things in his own hands. Like, okay, I've set you guys up enough times here already today. Time to take one for myself. Finds his opportunity and strikes when the iron is hot. Gonna put Saints in the lead, like you were saying, for the first time all series long. And that could finally be the start of something here for the Saints. But we'll have to see his open right back on the gas. Right down, pedal to the metal style. But they have to be careful not to overextend themselves a little bit. Spood's was right there, ready to try and find himself another one. If Jay Wismont was not ready for it. Instead, it's going to be Raz trying to bring this out. Comp right back up to the sky. Oh. Shot. Good save there from JQ to keep this one at a one goal deficit. Yeah, excellent shot and excellent save there. Uh, you know, as you were saying, keep it at a one goal deficit. Uh, Oakland playing that defense to make sure that they don't fall too far behind. That's a big 50-50 in mid. Jay going to come on and talk to at least allow some time for his defenders to come out and help. 
And that is exactly what happens. Comp and Spoots gonna play the ball in the corner there, trying to get it clear, but Jay Wizbon keeping that one in the crease. And that is gonna be Spoots trying to clear as well here now. And uh, a big pair buffle going on in that corner there, finally out of the corner, and it is going towards midfield. The Saints looking to take the aggression on this one, but it will be Jay Keep setting it right back to St. Clair, Saints territory. Comp and Spoots oh. looking to play off it. Nice shot, but Ross with another beautiful save. Uh, these drag races that we're seeing, even drag racing in the sky sometimes. Raz has been basically winning every single one of them, just barely. Going to be able to keep this at a one goal game, of course. And now Saints trying to find themselves a little bit of extra insurance. Then right back again, Raz shot off the backboard. Is there going to be a shot? Not in time. Jay's going to not, unfortunately, just kind of fly past that one, thinking that the Oakland defender is going to get a piece of it and it's not going to be the case it's going to go right back into the st Clair zone j cube centering it up once again drag race is going to go in oakland's favor spoods though up in the skies to make sure it gets out of the sweet spot and get this thing cleared yeah so finally after i believe that was like 30 seconds to 45 seconds st Clair was able to get that sent over to the oakland zone uh it is hanging around midfield here now towards the saint zone but they were able to at least stop the pressure and able to get a good reset there and that's exactly what they do now time to play defense once again as oakland keeping the pressure on as soon as saints got this one nothing lead oakland has really turned up the amount of pressure they're putting on on the oh offense ross with a double demo but thank goodness Saints clear it, or else that could have been very dangerous for the side of St. Clair. Absolutely. You rarely see that happen. The absolute enforcer has coming out here from the side of Oakland. But thankfully, I believe it was Comp who was the last one alive, was already clearing the ball at that time. Otherwise, yeah, that would have been a 1v3. That would have been hard to try and deal with. But now, Spoods in the offensive zone, looking for Jay. Jay's going to take the shot, but it's going to get denied pretty well instantly. Another centering pass from Spoods going to get pushed aside. Um, drops it down, looks for Jay, but Jay's not going to be there in time. Raz is going to beat him to it. Raz up in the skies, he gets past Spoots as well, drops it for Jay Cubes. Comp with an absolute clutch save, however, keeping this in Saints lead. That save was absolutely crucial, and it did come through for Comp there. I was very concerned about him if he was actually able to gonna be come up with it, but he does so and keeps the lead at 1-0 here for the Saints in this very key game two. We were emphasizing this right before the game started. You're just tuning in. This game two, very important for the Saints. They're not able to go down two in the series. It would uh, it would cause for some major problems here for the Saints. However, one goal lead, a minute and 15 remaining. They're trying to find another, but Oakland keeping the pressure on, sending it right back into Saints territory. Ross with a shot, but Comp with yet another save. Comp been playing very clutch defense here. Closest one out is Comp with a shot. He can play both sides of the ball. Comp will find a major save and then find the goal to now build a 2-0 lead cushion here for your St. Clair Saints, making them a lot more comfortable in the final minute. Spoods with that extra little slowdown in the crease too, making it look like he was maybe the person going for the redirect shot. And you've seen the goalie, he did the backflip in the net thinking that it was going for a redirect and that ended up not being the case. Nice little fake there and I tell you what, that little momentum high that I was feeling from Oakland, I feel like it's kind of dying down a little bit. Oakland feels a little bit... Uh, hang on a second, I'm gonna completely <laughs> shut my train of thought down as we have a beautiful passing session here. Raz the mount and then cubes right there gonna absolutely clutch us up and bring us within one i was saying that their momentum was dying well that thought or that train of thought completely died just like my ability to speak it so beautifully done from oakland to shut me up for a second let's see if you can tie this game up yeah and i mean that was a beautiful play as you were saying all players made contact with that ball in a three-man passing play and it really worked out uh spreading the sinclair defenders out of where they're comfortable so now it is going to be sinclair trying to put this offensive pressure back on again as the lead is only one but it's going to be tough as there's only 30 seconds remaining your big goal here here the saints is just to not allow oakland to score absolutely but this is a good little run here j cubed on the breakaway never mind spooch was in there Parks and ready to go, makes one, he makes two huge wow. saves here for St. Clair with 15 seconds left to go. Ball gonna get cleared, Oakland is gonna have probably one more opportunity to set up a play, and they kinda scuffed the initial start of it. J-Cube is gonna have to try and reinforce this attack, but Jay on this clear is basically gonna seal the deal as the ball is gonna hit the ground. Saints gonna take game two.
Yeah, that was a very, very big game to take. And it was once again, uh, you know, a one, two goal game. Very, very close ones overall here. And it seems as if for the Saints to win, they have to keep these games kind of low scoring. That's what I've kind of took away from this. They do not want to allow um, the side of Oakland to get a lot of shots and net get a lot of goals here because Oakland's defense is very, very good. It's going to be very, very tough to score on them. You have to try to take advantage of the opportunities you have. Maybe play for these low scoring games. Play very good defense. Don't get too aggressive on the offense and just play for those wide openings. It's exactly what the Saints did there, making this now a one-to-one -one series, heading into game three, where you can feel a lot more comfortable rather than being down 2-0 right now. Oh, we knew we were going to have ourselves an awesome series, and so far that has been exactly what this has been, and we all tied up on game three, basically making this a best of three at this point, just resetting the game and going forward. But this time, like I was saying, some of the high there from Oakland may be a little bit tight or taken down rather but we do see a huge shot and Ras is just going to redirect wow. this in beautifully done from the side of Oakland University I have to stop talking about momentum because they keep shutting me up every single time I call them out on it so beautifully done that pass from J cubed right on target Raz just had to tip it right on in as there was no Saints defense ready for it yeah, completely agree with you on that one there. Oakland setting up a nice play early in this one. And we have actually seen a lot of early goals here throughout this series already. Uh, I think we've seen a goal in the first 30 seconds of every single game we've been here for. <laughs> but Comp answers back within five seconds. How about two? Will, yeah, honestly. He will find uh, another goal there within the first 30 seconds again. And uh, Comp going to even this one out one to one. And uh, really just answering back, shutting down that Raws. As much as you said, we're not going to be talking more momentum. That should really stop a lot of Oakland momentum after that initial goal. Yeah, at least it stops it from getting out of hand. O Oakland probably still feeling pretty good, but we'll have to see it because if one more goes in, that could definitely throw things for a loop as the ultimate fourth teammate, the crossbar, comes in clutch there to save one there for Oakland. It spoons in. It was not trying to kind of drag race this thing. Pop fly ball in the middle of the field. Two on one. Raz is going to just oh. commit to the one and wisely done as the 50 50 just stops the ball dead in its tracks to the point where it's still kind of stuck in the corner. Where Raz is finally going to be able to bring this up. Spoods is going to make his move. It was a little bit early for him, but Comp had his back. So fair enough. All options covered. And now Saints looking to try and clear this one out as Oakland trying to get back in time. Yeah, that was a lot of opportunities in a short period of time. Uh, very big saves from each side and uh, just very big defense in general uh, for both of those opportunities to actually come up a little bit short. Very new good stuff there from Roz on the defense, playing very consistent uh, in that defensive position for the side of Oakland. Uh, the game is still a one-to-one -one scoreline. Minute and a half in, Wismot with a nice shot wow. as I say that. And JQ plays the rebound assist. And that is going to be a two-to-one scoreline here now for Oakland. You see that get sent over J-Cube. He's right back into the net, firing away. Oakland going to take that one goal lead here. He just straight up one times that rebound. Didn't even think about it. Just dove at it, and it was an absolute beam right into the net. Oakland going to be taking the lead once again here in this series. And never mind. Jay wow. is going to answer right back after a crazy bounce in the corner here. Spoots kind of teed it up, and then Jay literally... Making some geometry work for him, apparently, as that was yeah. right on target. Those angles. If you're, if you're Jay, I don't think you're even really looking at the ball at that point in time. You you just see, oh, you scored, and you're like you're so confused because you're looking way up at the sky facing a wall, and it really gets a huge bounce like comes through. Where Jay Wismont wants to answer back immediately once again, but he will get shut down from the side of St. Clair there on that shot. But wow, we are seeing a lot of aggression coming through here from both times in this game three. From both teams, sorry. In this game three, lots of shots, lots of goals, and uh, less defense here in this one. So uh, it's a very interesting. Both teams looking to switch up their play styles a little bit. And this one is now going to be comp, trying to find an offense. 50-50 win though for Jay Wismont. Jay Wismont trying to find another goal here, but it will be hitting against the post. And that is going to be Jay clearing it and a shot on that. And that's a Holy. goal. Holy smokes, Jay, from downtown. Spoots again, even from his own crease, he's setting up his teammates at this point. And Jay with an absolute rocket right into the left-hand corner to just t not take the, not tie this up, to take the lead here, three to yeah. two. And we're barely halfway through this. We have five goals on the board. Aggressive, like complete no defense kind of play. And it's absolutely entertaining to say the least. 
Yeah, we're not even halfway through this game. We've already seen more goals than we have in any other game so far in this series. Uh, very interesting to see there, nonetheless. Two minutes and 20 seconds to remain, and now it's all the pressure onto Oakland, and they come up with it. Jay Wismont gonna find another goal there. Actually, no, that was his first one there in this game. But he will find a goal there, and a very opening shot there really just opens up the defender's comp a little too slow there on the defending, defending play. And Oakland tying it up at 3-3. As soon as one team scores, another team is answering back almost simultaneously. And J cubed in that last goal as well. A very similar situation to what we saw the Saints do a little bit earlier, where he was in the position to do the redirecting. The Saints committed to that shot, though, and then he just ended up lobbing it down for his teammate. Jay Wismont had all the time in the world to just knock that thing right in. And I love these extra slowdown plays. Like They're not just beaming it for the sake of beaming it. They're setting this up, slowing it down, and it's... As much as it's chaotic offensive play, it's still so calculated at the same time, and that's what makes this so entertaining and so interesting, as we still have ourselves this 3-3 game, with just over a minute and a half left here in this game. Oakland on the attack once again. Comp going to try to push this aside. Spoods is going to beat out Wismont here. This could be the breakout opportunity the Saints are looking for, because Jay is there, but a huge save from Jay Cubes. But can he get the rebounds? He cannot. That's going to be goal number two here of the game for Comp and the go-ahead goal at that. Spoods again, off to Jay, could not quite find it, but Comp coming in clutch, just barely beating out Jay Wismont. Yeah, and there was three defenders in that net there for Oakland. It's just the pressure from St. Clair was too aggressive there on that one. They put pulled out all the stops and, you know, brought all those three players onto the offense there and just forced that one into the net. So it will provide them that one goal week here. Now maybe trying for another one. So close, good try there for the side of the St. Clair Saints. A minute and 15 seconds remain. Now this is when things get a little stressful for Oakland. They have to answer back. Now they are in a position where they are forced to, you know, at least score to, at a minimum force in overtime. For the Saints, just want to keep this one on the offense and play good defense as best as they can. But it looked like Oakland and Raws are all going to put the pressure onto the Saints net right here, right now. Jay, able to get a clear though, and that is going to go right over towards the Oakland net. I mean, they're putting on the pressure, but at the same time, they're not really setting up for anything. We see two or three cars from Oakland in the offensive zone, but they're just kind of sitting around. They need to find themselves an opportunity, get themselves some space to work with, and try to set up a play similarly to what we had seen the Saints do for the last couple of them, where rather than having everybody across the halfway point, it's just kind of one offender in at a time. And now with the two Saints back, Cop is going to keep this save. We have 30 seconds left on the clock here. A couple more opportunities for Oakland to try and make the play, but they might get shut down as that's going to be the hat trick from Jay as he clutches up on a bit of a misplay in the Oakland crease to really seal the deal here in game number three. Yeah, Jay has been lighting it up here now in the uh, past few minutes of play and, you know, this game and the bit of the end of last game. Uh, he's been really coming up huge for the Saints as they started off this series down one nothing, And with that goal, that might be very close to locking things up for the Saints here in this one. Unless we can see two quick goals come through for Oakland. But it's going to be Jay just trying to find his fourth goal already. And keeping this ball in the zone of uh, Oakland. Uh, going to be very hard for them to score two goals here now with only 10 seconds remaining. Uh, I'm thinking this one's going to be locked up for the hands of the Saints. And that is going to be a 2-1 to -one series lead now for them. And a very, very good one at that. Jay coming up clutch as you were saying. And uh, now all the cards are into Oakland's oh. hands. You have to make a play if you're Oakland here now. Looking for one more just to add a little bit of salt on the wound, I suppose, there. But yes, of course, the Saints are going to take game number three. That two-goal lead. And it's just been so far so good for them at about the halfway point of that one. Jay really coming online. Getting himself that hat trick was absolutely fantastic. Two additional goals, of course, across the rest of the Saints as well. And these players are absolutely waiting for nobody. We are going to be hopping in right away. Whatever momentum Oakland has left, they want to push it and push it now because they need to keep themselves alive here in the series. Otherwise, it's game over. And a quick update as well. If St. Clair does win this game here, we will be going against Akron Zips in the next round. They have taken down USF Green 3-0. And uh, now that wow. is going to make things, yeah, that, that's going to make things pretty interesting to see Akron Zips there, you know, in the semifinals with a 3-0 win over USF Green there. Uh, going to be very interesting to see. But as of for now, we are still focused on this St. Clair Oakland game. And Oakland has to find a game, as we were saying, if they want to keep themselves in this one. Otherwise, if the St. Clair Saints find one of these next two games, they will move on to the qualifying match that they need to play, and that will be streamed by College Carball. Let's get things going here. Very, very important match for each side.
Absolutely. Oakland doesn't want this to be done just yet, but we're still seeing a little bit of pressure coming from them. Now we see Saints bouncing this into the in the center. Shot off the crossbar. Where's that rebound? We know it's coming. This is the bread and butter of the Saints all season. And this is exactly what we were looking for. From one to the other. You go with the you think that's the shot? Not even close. Comp gonna finish that one up beautifully. The tic-tac-toe play coming in clutch here from Saints. Yeah, and very nice using that fourth player, as we've always brought it up. The crossbar comes exactly. through there and helps out the side of the Saints in this case scenario, putting the scoreline now to one nothing throughout the first minute of play here in this one. Now, uh, that, that's a very Ooh. good... To, oh, wow, Raz. That's a very big demo, really opening it up, but that is going to be comp sending it over to the side of Oakland here now. And now it's going to be the side of St. Clair looking to put this one onto an offensive play. Jay, really good redirect there, setting it to the corner, and now trying to make a centering play. Not going to go in their favor. Oakland trying to take it on the offense, but Spood says not today. He's going to take it over to the side of Oakland. Ross looking for a clear, and he will manage to get it. Maybe a redirect onto comp in the net. Comp, major save from Jay Wiz, stopping Jay Wismont's shot. And now, this ball bouncing around midfield. A minute and a half has passed on the clock here. Now the Saints, with this one goal lead, absolutely crucial in this game. Oakland forced to answer back here momentarily. It's good to see Oakland, though. They are still trying to put those setups. It was good to see Jay Wismont waiting there, ready for that redirect. And it was deadly. It was extremely fast as we see another shot on the Oakland net. Going to be stopped by Jay Cubes this time by. But now, Oakland got to, they have to fight back here, regardless of what kind of defense or what kind of offensive plays they're trying to do. They have to make one stick here. They do have some time still. Three minutes or so left on the board to try and keep their winner's bracket hopes alive. Because, of course, this is, there is a lower bracket, so it's not the complete be-all, end-all. But, of course, you want to take it up the, uh, the well, winner's side of things and not have to drop down the losers, right? Well, yeah, winning this matchup it puts you in a crazy better position going into losers if you can win this uh, quarterfinal matchup. Because if you can get into semis, you know, you drop right down that qualifying match in losers. So you have two chances to qualify right away if you win this one. But if you lose this one, you have to make a loser's bracket run, and it makes things very, very tough on yourself. So that is why this series is so, so important here right now. Absolutely, of course. Those are going to be on the College Carball channel starting at 3 o'clock tomorrow. And it wow. looks like Oakland wants to be there. They are going to tie this one up with just over two minutes left after Jake Cubes with the pass from the crease. And Jay Wismont again. He's finding these opportunities. He found the redirect earlier that nearly became a goal. And now he just found an absolute rocket from his side of the field to tie this up. Yeah, so we see a one-to-one -one game here now. And uh, Oakland, they've been doing fairly well in tie games here so far. But Comp, looking to answer back. Just going to come slightly short there on that one. Really good effort nonetheless. So J-Cube answering back, trying to find one of his own. But Comp, going to shut that one down. Comp and Spoots on the offense here now. But it will be Oakland interrupting the play. So now that's going to send over to the corner. Jay coming in here to help with the squad. But he will not be able to make good contact with the ball. Now he actually redirects it to his own side of the field. Going to be forced on comp to save that one. He does so. Now looking to put it onto the offense. He is going to be able to send it to Oakland's corner. Uh -oh. Now will he be able to play off this redirect? No, it will not. It's going to be Spoods now coming up with this one. Trying to make an aerial play. Pass it down to Jay. Jay with a shot. Wide open bottom corner. Your Saints take a one goal lead with a minute and 30 seconds remaining. On a beautiful aerial passing play from Spoods off the roof to Jay with a redirect to the bottom corner. It doesn't get better than that, folks. Okay, first off, it barely even looked like Jay touched that ball with how that angle was. But again, Spoods is just finding everybody at the most prime opportunity to set them up for a shot for themselves. Again, like, you're all the way up to the ceiling and yet you're still able to get this directly into the centering position. Like, he's just absolutely nuts in regards to setting up all these plays. But Oakland, they're not done. Raz, shot on target. Jay is going to get the stop this time by, but Raz is still there to try and challenge him. Push it to the center, but again, Spoots is going to be right there with the denial. Saw the pass coming, just completely shuts it down. But again, Raz right back into the St. Clair zone. JQ centering pass again, but Spoots there to stop that as well. To stop the shot before it happens. And the preventative measures here from St. Clair are so far so good as they need to hang on for another minute to win this one. Yeah, but JQ with a nice Ooh. shot. And it's just a little too high. Jay not able to come through with that one. Nice pass from Jay Wismont there. Right there, you see it off the wall, right to J-Cube. J-Cube sends it right into the top shelf. Jay will make contact with it, but it bounces off the crossbar and ultimately goes in. 48 seconds remain. We're in a situation right now here, Danners, where it, it could very well be next goal wins. Absolutely. Right there, Jay Wismon basically repaying Jay Cubes there. It's like, you set me up pretty nicely earlier on in this game. Let me give you one as well, as we see Spoods basically going to 
do the same thing, and Jay is going to answer it right back. This time, going to be Jay once again find himself the goal and Spoots initial shot ends up going high but it doesn't matter it ended up being a pass works out anyway and Saints again 30 seconds left they have the lead I don't know if Jay would have had that one if Jay Wismont wasn't like underneath the ball um I, I that's a really close call but nonetheless it does go in the net and now if you're the Saints it's just defense <laughs> that's exactly. all that's all that's all it is right now that is what we need for the Saints if they do want to come out on top here in this one but there's only 20 seconds remaining, and that is comp with a demo, and them sending it right back to Oakland side. That might be the nail in the coffin here, Danners. But just like that, it's going to be Ross centering it up. 50-50 in midfield. Spoots coming out pretty even with that one. Going to be a oh, no. shot now onto... What do you say oh no for? Oh no for <laughs> Oakland, as they oh, are yeah. going to be the ones, unfortunately, not getting the piece of it. Jay Wismont oh, just oh, lines it right goal. into his own net. And Cop is going to get credit for the goal, and Spoots, of course, he's going to get credit for assists. He assists everything here in this game. But that's why I was screaming, oh no, because Jay Wismont, unfortunately, while trying to challenge that ball, sent it right into his own net, and that is going to be yeah. the goal that basically seals the deal. Granted, two goal game. Amazing series, though, from Oakland. I'm definitely going to be looking forward to watching them in the lower bracket as well, because, of course, their tournament is not done. But. What a series. <laughs> well, yeah, what a series, first of all. And I did not know that that was an own goal. That's why I was like, I was so confused on how that shot even got on net, but makes a lot of sense here. Now, uh, Oakland, unfortunately, going to fall. Like I said, I agree with, like you said, sorry, I agree with you very much. Cannot wait to see them in that loser's bracket run. It looks like they will be going down to play UCF Knights here in their next round and losers round two. There goes my camera. And <laughs> and it will be your St. Clair Saints going to play the Akron Zips here in winners semifinals for a championship seed in game. So uh, it, for the bracket here now, the Saints can play the Akron Zips here. If they lose, that's okay because they go down to losers quarterfinals, which is a championship seeding game as well. They have two tries now to qualify. And that's the very big thing here. Yeah, while we wait for Thanos to revive, yeah, we'll see what this bracket situation is up to. Actually, let me refresh this real quick just to make sure I'm getting the proper updated uh, information here. So let's see. So yeah, um, going up against Akron Zips. And to be honest, if we look at this lower bracket, there is some upsets, at least in my opinion here. Because first mm -hmm. off, I agree. looking at our fellow Canadians, Durham, they got shut down so early here in the winter side of things. They'll probably still be going... Okay, they did make it to, wow, round four. But solid squad in, the, in their own right, and they're going to be falling a little bit early. Another big upset here is Northwood White. Again, they were second all season long until the last week, basically. And UCF Green, which I believe... Did we say that was a wildcard team? Uh, UCF Green, I'm going to click are, on... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they are. And they uh, they, they did fall to the Akron Zips there, but they still have a lot of potential here in losers. Uh, they're going against the U-Michigan Esports right here now in losers. Yep. Okay, that'll definitely be interesting as well. And actually, Sioux, Sioux College is out of it very early in Phase 2. They got they got a double first rounded here in, uh, in Phase 2 of the CCA playoffs. Yeah, that's definitely going to be an upset as well as it. The uh, U-Michigan eSports squad that we see here, if I recall correctly, wasn't necessarily... Yeah, let me... I'm going to just use this from last week. I just have this saved here. But University of Michigan, that was a 2-18. and 18. <laughs> And mm -hmm. Sioux College, I mean, 3-5. Um, and five, So, I mean, it's, it's still, like, relatively close and whatnot. However, that should have been Sioux College in the favor of them. But that's going to be a nice upset in that zone, right? And then the other thing, too... Well, and I, oh, sorry, go ahead. Sioux College got initially sent down to losers from a wildcard team. Like, yeah. Stockton's, Stockton's was a wildcard team, I believe. Yeah, they are. That, uh, that was correct. Yeah, and, and they, they've just been winning and winning and winning. Like, if they win this game here right now, they will be going in Seton Hall University in the winner's semifinals, the same round that we are in right now. And of course, Seton Hall, one of those uh, other epic squads... Here, we had a crazy match with them just the other day. And then I wanted to quickly talk about the Akron Zips here because we uh, we always think like, okay, Akron Zips, it's one of the past champions. But this, the end of the season was kind of sus for them to say the least there. Like we expected like extremely high things from them. But if I do recall correctly, they just absolutely plummeted near the end here. 
I'm going to quickly fact check myself, and it's maybe not as bad as I thought, because they were initially, I think, like seven and two or something. They ended up the season five and four, basically dead center in uh, in the series. But they were having themselves a hard time. But uh, one, not even have to go up against Northwood. That was a blessing. And yet, though UCF Green, they really gave Akron a run, uh, or they gave Akron a run for the money. They did get three out in the end here, but Akron might be uh, back up to stuff here as we're getting ready to go into this is championships. This series tomorrow, uh, this series is going to be on the CCA channel tomorrow. If you're just tuning in, a heads up there, not over here on this Saints channel. However, that matchup is going to be crazy, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Like, I cannot wait for that one. Both teams got put into quarterfinals right away. And then both teams won in a 3-1 to one or 3-0 to oh fashion. So it's going to be very, very interesting. And I do think that Oakland is a little bit of a stronger team than USF Green. So hence the 3-1 to one rather than a 3-0. Mm. Um, but overall, I mean, this matchup statistically wise on paper is pretty much dead even. Hey, we, we all know what happens every single time I say something is dead even on paper. So I'm not going to ever <laughs> think of that because it usually ends up turning into a 3-0 one way or the other here. But, but like, yeah, like Oakland in theory should be a strong team in that regard but usf green they still beat northwood that is still yep. like a, a a huge note here and yes you go down to akron but that's still something they're probably going to be hanging on to that one for a little while maybe throw it on twitter it's like hey we're in we're in losers but we beat northwood so worth right but meanwhile the matchup of course with saints and akron should be a crazy one what happened during the regular quickly cheat here and look at my uh just a second, but but yeah. So as he's looking there for Akron's regular season, three, um, three two win for us. Sorry, what was that? Sorry, sorry. Three. That was a three two win for us there. So mm -hmm. and it's as close yeah. as it gets. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't. It can't be three three. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah. So very close series there. Last time we played, I'm anticipating a very similar scoreline going into this next matchup here. That's going to be tomorrow at 3 p.m. EST on that College Carball channel. So make sure you guys tune in there to uh, keep up with that Saint Clair Saints Gold uh, bracket run because if they win that game, they're in it to the championships. And there's only eight teams that make it in the championships. Out of how many teams went from qualifiers to open division to uh, you know regular play uh, uh play-ins whatever it was so many things went through to them getting here today out of hundreds of teams hundreds of teams in those qualifiers it's just crazy to say okay hey we win this next game or we win one of the next two games we go into that top eight I mean, there's a reason why any single time, or we mentioned this earlier, it's like, hey, when we put uh, like CCA in front of the title, it tends to get more views because this is the top level of college Rocket League competition, at least in my own opinion. And like you're saying, there's just so many things you have to go through, so many qualifiers and so many events in order to get here that everybody here is going to be absolutely godlike and somebody has to fall. So the fact that one, our Saints even made CCA for, I think it was the first time, or or first time in uh, in this team's history to then be making the playoffs to then now being in Championship Sunday. It's been an absolutely crazy resurgence here from the Saints uh, Rock League squad and proud of them regardless of what happens tomorrow. But let's see how far you can go. <laughs> and even the green roster, they place very high throughout the opens. Absolutely. I mean, you know, they, they still put in a very good effort over there on that side as well. So it isn't even just the St. Clair Saints Gold roster really putting on a show here. Both the, all the St. Clair Saints guys are really proving themselves nicely in the CCA series. And I think as we move forward more into the school year, uh, uh, we're going to be taking a little bit more of as a threat um, going forward to these other teams, seeing, you know, them come through, at, you know, being not really as heard of in CCA and then coming through and this being like, as you said, the, you know, kind of, kind of like the go ahead run for them. So uh, championships could see them right around the corner. We'll see what happens there tomorrow. Like I said, 3 p.m. EST. Uh, very excited to get that one going. But we should be closing out here just about shortly. So before we do that, I would like to love to give a quick shout out to our sponsors as we wouldn't be able to put on this production without them. So thank you to the St. Clair College, Zeckelman School of Business and Information Technology, St. Clair College Alumni Association, the St. Clair College, Subway, Tim Hortons, and the St. Clair SRC. As I said, we would not be able to put on this production without them. So thank you guys so much. And thank you to our viewers as well for making it oh so worth it for us to hop on here on the mic and uh, share these amazing games with all you guys.
Absolutely, and then to go on top of that as well, big shout out to ASOS for the resubscription here on the channel and supporting the broadcast. And for everybody who's followed us over the past couple of weeks or over the past broadcast itself and joining us here, whether it be in chat or just watching from home, of course, thank you for supporting your or supporting the broadcast or supporting your um, your classmates, family, friends, whoever that happens to be in their esports endeavors. Big thank you for that, of course. And with that, that is basically the end of the show here for tonight. We will see our Saints right back in action again tomorrow, 3 p.m. 3 p.m. on CCA College Carball, and we'll get to see if our Saints can get into some uh, awesome championship action. So. Without further ado, we'll close out here for tonight. Thank you all for tuning in, and we'll catch you sometime this week for some more uh, esports action.